this guy? Maybe. This is the uh, lost sanctuary of the butterflies. Is it? It is. Tell me more. Um, you see, back in the day, uh, <laughs> butterflies were <laughs> a rare... Co he tried to rest his elbow, but he couldn't reach the table. Butterflies were a rare commodity in Northern America. Uh -huh, uh, they this. were not yet imported from Europe. Right. So all the butterflies that people could fit in their pockets mm -hmm. when they came over from Europe, they would bring it to the butterflies. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing. <laughs> they would bring to the butterflies. It's sanctuary. a weird right there. Yeah, and they would just throw them right into this house. And there's a nice old lady here. Do you remember her name? No, I don't know anything about this. I just remember that butterflies were imported. Bethany Humblebottom was her name. Uh, okay. She was the queen of the butterflies. This that time. chapter. Yeah, uh, this is great. chapter three in that one book. Uh, I think it was called Capturing the West. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Bethany, uh, she actually grew up in Europe where there's a lot of butterflies, mm -hmm. but she was banned from her town after collecting too many butterflies in one place. How? What do you mean how? Why was she banned? No, you just explained that to me, so I don't need to know why. Right. Um, <laughs> see, I Just go on. Uh, anyways, <laughs> she was banned from her town because she collected too many butterflies, and as you know, having too many butterflies in one place can be dangerous, right, for the environment. I guess so, but I mean, there's already so many butterflies in Europe. There's a lot, yes, but imagine if there was at least four times more. But just in that one place. It's not like she took them out of Europe or from out of Europe and brought them to Europe. See, that's the thing. Butterflies have a very, very uh, weak ecosystem. If you bring too many to one place, they eat all the other bugs, and then they start to eat each other. And that can be a problem because then those butterflies get too big for themselves. Uh, I'm starting to question this. No, uh, so she was banned, but she still loved the butterflies. <laughs> and so she was banned and sent to America at the time. Sure. Yeah. But there are no butterflies here, remember? Because this yes. was before they were brought over. No, i following. So she, <laughs> she sanctioned the people coming on the Oregon Trail from Europe, uh, the long one, the long trail, yes. from Europe to here, uh, to bring them to her. She pays for them, and she keeps them in this house. Sure. Okay. Now, over here you can see these are the stables. <laughs> Thanks for this. <laughs> okay. These are the stables. This is where the soldiers stay. In the stables. Right. Uh, the stables what? meant something different back then. Uh, it meant where the soldiers stayed. Okay, let's just talk to people. Butterflies, <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> Butterflies. I'm saying I don't want to talk to you no more. I want to talk to somebody else. Butterflies are, as I said, very the dangerous. River they can grow very large. Runways from but Fort Kearney people to also Fort wanted Laramie. to take the butterflies Cowards to for their own homes. Utah and Oregon, all take this road. And she needed to protect Could be them the somehow. Could the easiest stretch of but the whole point, trip. She's like, hey. <laughs> shouldn't see any antelope and plenty of buffalo. And she can't protect them on her own. So she had to hire... The prison the guy guards is still the plentiful time along here, but getting harder to find. In the stables, so and many overlookers. I don't and expect it to last to day more than a few years. Folks, shoot the game for sport. Take a small piece and let the rest rot in the sun. Sorry, what? What are you talking about? So there's a lot of animals here to hunt. Yeah, butterflies. No, 